Hey guys, what's up? Good morning. I'm back from swim practice. It really kills my nose, so I'm sorry that I have a running nose today. I've been swimming for like three or maybe even four months, once or twice a week, and I'm still the worst in the group, and I'm in the slow group. That really sucks. So I bought this watch, swim watch, to help me understand how bad I am so I can start measuring myself and improve because as they say what can't be measured can't be managed I hate being the worst but that's how it is when you just you know start something and you're a beginner and it feels so bad that it makes you want to give up and actually kind of reminds me of my time when I just started my uh, journey as a designer in my first kind of first real job at an advertising agency. I, was, I wasn't I was even a designer, they called it graphic artist. And uh, my job was actually to do what the art director said, but most of the time it was like really silly work, not even creative, like open the InDesign file, fix the text like a spelling mistake and export it as PDF. And when I started out, I was even the worst at doing those stupid silly jobs. I was so bad that on my first day on the job they asked me, uh, did you make sure that the profile is a CMYK? And I was like, yeah. And they told me, do you know what CMYK is? And I'm like, sure, of course I know. But actually I had no clue because I've never worked in print design and I really didn't know what that mean, but I was kind of trying to fake it and then went home and try to Google it and learn as fast as I can to try to, you know, step up my game so they won't know that I'm so bad. Anyway, I hated being so bad so much that, you know, I really invested the time and energy to try to step up my game and really improve. I went back home every day and watched tutorials and try to read and, you know, improve both my skill and my theoretical knowledge and I became friend. I really, you know, even though it was a bit awkward, but I went to the best uh, guy at the studio, the guy that was like a genius, and I became friend with him and I asked him, I wasn't afraid to ask him, hey, teach me how you do that. And really try to improve and, you know, step up. And I think, it, uh, of course it didn't happen overnight, but I was working there, you know, for total, I think, of five years, also when I, when I was in school. And I think after two years or two and a half years, I was already one of the best guys there. And the funniest thing is that was like more than 10, 10 years, over 10 years, I think now. But some of the other guys there are still there. They're still doing the same thing and they didn't, you know, bother to actually try to improve themselves, try to take their game to the next level and, you know, progress with their career and they're still there to me that's amazing i'm sorry that i can't share what i'm working on today i'm doing client work so i have to be discreet about it This is what happens when somebody forgets his bag in a bus station in Israel. The robot checked the bag and decided that it wasn't a bomb. Anyway, do you know that movie cliche, there's only two kinds of people in the world? There's only two kinds of people in the world. Beatles people and Elvis people. You see, in this world, there's two kinds of people, my friend. Two kinds of... Two kinds of... Two kinds of... Two kinds of... Two kinds of, two kinds of people in the world, my friend. Them going somewhere, and them going nowhere. So here's my cliche. I think there's only two kinds of people in the world. People who like to be the smartest person in the room, or the fastest in the swimming pool, or whatever, and people who like to be among people who are better than them. There's a saying that I really like, which is, if you're the smartest person in the room, then you're probably in the wrong room. And I really believe that. That's why I try to surround myself with people who are better than me, smarter than me, more talented than me, because I want to learn and improve and you know grow myself. And I hope you do too.
Anyway, I hope you had a great day, and I'll catch you guys tomorrow.